Hey, welcome back friends. Today we're going to take a look at the EaseLift TR3 from Camco. This is a new weight distribution hitch that they're coming out with. I guess they've came out with it just recently. And uh, we've got the 1200 pound version here. We're going to talk about this today. We're not doing an install. We're not doing a review. We're just going to open the box, see what we get, check out the build quality. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to review this. And uh, we're going to talk about all of those things as well as the uh, the info that Camco gives us on this product. So I hope you'll stick around. All right, I'm quite sure you've seen enough of my face, but I wanted to start uh, just from the get-go. I was gonna get all of this out and lay it out here on the truck of the bed, or bed of the truck, can't speak today. But uh, yeah, good job by EaseLeft for packing this thing well. A lot of times these things show up just beat to crap and back. The box is busted and all kinds of stuff like that. But look, they, it looks like they've done a good job of doing some custom packaging here. So I gotta give them props for that. Okay, here's everything out of its packaging. It's nice packaging. And let me be clear, I do not work for Camco. I do not work for EaseLeft. They did not pay me to uh to do this review or this this unboxing or the eventual review that we will do uh just to show you that i mean that right now the bar is set with the way safe that's one that's what's on the truck right now and it performs incredibly but i want at this point this will be the eighth hitch that we have tested and uh, yes i've had a pro pride it's incredible as well if you want to go back and see all of those hitches i will put a card uh, up here somewhere where you can go back and check the hitch battle videos and then we've done an Anderson since then and now we're doing this TR3 It's a good looking hitch and it is different. So let me let me start Let me also say that from the get-go. It is different from other hitches We have tested now. It looks very similar because you've got the bars and you've got the the hitch head and the bars go in there and it looks but these aren't going to kind of control sway what actually helps control sway in this situation, there's, there's some little brake pads. I don't know if you can see that here. Brake pad material inside this hitch head assembly, and you tighten that down over here. So if you need to take off all of your sway, if you're in ice or something like that, you need to take off your sway control, you can do that. But if you need to turn it on, you take this Allen wrench here, and you zip that down to up as, uh, upwards of 300 foot-pounds of sway control. So I honestly don't know if that's a lot or not, but apparently they say it's going to work. Uh, let's go through the parts right quick. And I'm, I'm just I'm literally, I've, I've just watched, I've read the instructions, watched a short video on the install, and it's really quite simple. You got your stinger here, of course, that um, or your shank here. Uh, they, gave, they sent me a two-inch shank. I'll have to use a sleeve on this. Uh, I don't know if they have two and a half inch shanks for this. Uh, I'll have to see. I'll, I'll link this in the description box below. You can check that out. But here are the the saddles that go onto the frame of the trailer. Now these are extra brackets for these. Right now this is set set up for um, a, a top mount trailer. If you have a bottom mounted trailer, you're going to have to switch these parts out for these. They're already included, so that's kind of nice. Uh, obviously this is the back side of the saddle that'll go the inside part of that a-frame here's your cheater bar they call it a lever bar i call it a cheater bar i'm from down here in the south so um that's what we call them and here are your bars now i'm going to say these bars are more impressive than the blue ox so i'm a little less worried they do taper uh, but i'm a little less worried about porpoising because they are much thicker than the uh than the blue ox products uh, the blue ox products just haven't performed that great for me as far as porpoising is concerned, I just haven't been impressed with them because their bars are so thin. Um, matter of fact, I may have a bar over there. Let me go see if I've got a bar I can we can compare. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. You can see the Blue Ox right here, how thin it is all the way up. And in comparison, the Ease Lift is much thicker. So yeah, less worry about porpoising with uh, with this hitch right now. I mean, now it may porpoise terribly. I don't know. But I don't think it will porpoise as bad, just based on that part. Let me put this down for just a second. Hitch head looks good. Uh, you do have a little red flag. All of the electronics that we have now on these trucks, make sure to take off your electronic sway control when using this hitch. Hitch head looks pretty good. Uh, it is made in China. I know a lot of you will ask about that. 
I think right now retail six seventy five on Amazon. I just looked it up. That changes almost daily, guys. So I get so frustrated with Amazon. They uh, I mean, any to any site right now, really, the prices change all the time. Here's your hardware. Now these two bolts will obviously attach this to your shank, and then these bolts attach your saddles, and then you got a, a hitch pin there, of course. And then there's your adjustments. Uh, this is to tighten those, and this one is to tighten your sway control. Now let's talk about a couple of things that I like right off the get-go. I love these pins. You guys know I have complained about pins to no end. Well, they've solved all of it. They've even cabled them to the actual hitch head. You can't, you're not going to lose these now. That is awesome. This is the first time I've seen that. You can see here, you're going to lock those bars in. It's very unique design. It's not a through bar, but it's going to attach into those notches right there. So I love that. And they did it on the saddles as well. So kudos from the get-go to Camco slash Easelift, you guys have already made me happy with that. But the big trick is going to be, is this thing going to perform? So that's what will really make everyone happy. Uh, this is your adjustment. These are your adjustment nuts here and here. There's a good uh, install video already out from Camco letting you know that uh, how to adjust all of that. Yeah, interesting. So even though they call this a 1200, your max tongue weight is 1500. Your max trailer weight is 15,000. We'll be within that, even with the new prototype we're running. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be within those ratings. So we'll be good to go there. Um, again, these are all adjustment nuts for the install. You'll see all of that when we do it. A lot of times I'll just link the install video from the actual manufacturer. Now, confusing to me because Easelift 1200 but it's a 1500 pound max. I have no clue why they do that. I, I, that's, I'm sure that's, they have a reason for it, but I don't know why. So anyway, guys, I just thought I would show you this new, I think it's innovative. It is different. We'll see if it works. I don't know. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but I thought I needed to show it to you. Uh, the way we will review this, because we are in a new trailer, I am going to tow uh, a couple of times with the Waysafe. I've already towed the new prototype once with it, it performed great. Um, so I, I have like a kind of a, like a benchmark, uh, a grading scale now with the Waysafe. And then we'll see how this EaseLift performs because this is a couple hundred dollars less than the Waysafe. So we'll see how it does, guys. Anyway, this was just an introduction video. If you want to see the review video and the install video, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. I hope you guys are having a great day. And if this video was useful, as always, I hope you'd consider subscribing. See ya.